Welcome everyone, this is Corey Babka for the Marks Group Live. Just coming to you today, teaching you about layout rules in Zoho CRM. After the training's over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Any questions on the subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Marks Group Live subscribers and your other Zoho users, anyone watching this video to help them along. Here's some main points that we're going to be discussing today. We're going to talk about layout rules and how they're used to create a different look and feel, depending on the criteria, whatever we set, how to define a layout rule by user role or field data, and then we can hide and make fields required basically within each layout rule. And that's just a, kind of like the overall view of what we're going to do or how I'm going to show that today. So let's go ahead and get right to it. We're going to go into setup here and start working away. So when I'm in a layout rule, what we're actually looking at is when we're, we're talking about layouts within records. So if I'm talking about a lead here, like this is a lead record for the chop shop and whatever his name is, we've got our business card, all this type of stuff up top. This is actually not, con, you know, uh, it's not created and managed by the layout. As you may know, if you've, if you've looked at any module customization, you talk about layouts, it's always the information below the blueprint and the business card. So it's all this information here. Okay, so what we're going to do, though, is we're actually going to, uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go into accounts, and we're just going to do kind of like a, a simple example here, where if I take the account type, we're going to go down here and say account type, and let's say the account type is one of these values, like distributor or investor or something along those lines. What we can do is we can choose to hide some information. Okay, so for instance, if we have a subtype, or if I say, uh, well, we, we, I had it before where we had like commercial versus um, residential, for instance, right? And so therefore, it may be a different billing or shipping address, or we might have a different section. Okay, that we're going to hide. So in our case here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our layouts. We're going to go to layout rules, which is actually within the modules and fields. You would think it's kind of an automation piece uh, because it, it does have this rule bit and it is automated in its sense, but it's not. It's not automation. It's actually within the modules and the fields area. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to actually go and do, uh, let's go into deals. Okay, and we're going to look at the layouts, right? And so when you do the layouts here, we always have a standard set, okay? I could also do a new layout if I wanted to, okay? And based on that new layout, we could change things around based on our layout rules, okay? So here, for instance, we're going to look at the deal. And so you see how this, this is a, there's a, um, there's a rule here called show number of tenants that if, the property type changes, what happens is it will change it. So we're going to look at this and just see what it says. So if the property type is apartments, okay, what happens is we're going to show this mandatory field, right? And we're going to do something else. So if I look at this here, property type and property type is apartment and amount is over 10,000. What we're going to do is the mandatory number of tenants is mandatory. And then we also want to show number of tenants. So without that, it's actually not showing. Under condition two, which is apartments but commercial isn't empty, then we're going to say we need to have property contact name and contact phone, and that's you know those are the things that we show. So you can see that it's it's very very um, I don't want to say convoluted, but it can be it can be very complex is what it can be. I guess is the word I'm looking for. And if we look at a business complex, if it's business complex instead, then what we're going to do is we have to say we can build this in and say we're going to show the fields. Okay, so let's go back and just see how this is kind of in, in play. It's not working right now. Like the minute I hit status, it should turn it on, but it's going to be, oh, I'm going to, it's deactivated for right now. Now this one is payment status. So the payment status is its partial payment and the amount's greater than 10000 then we're going to show the amount owed, the amount received, what payment information is there, everything else. If it's less than 10,000, then we're just going to show amount owed and amount received. So we're hiding different sections. 
right? Okay, let's go back. So let's go to accounts and we're going to go to bills boats and we're going to do something here where we are going to say that account type is going to be um, let's just say maybe a competitor if it's a competitor then we're not going to show uh, we can hide certain pieces is what we can do right and that's what I like to hide sections I think it's a little easier so let's go back in we're gonna to go to our modules and fields we're gonna to go to the account area go to the layouts okay there's our two different layouts but I'm gonna to go to layout rules and so what you can do is do a new layout rule and we're going to call this um, account type. If competitor hide unnecessary fields. If I can spell that correctly. Right? Now, the layout is what we're going to run it on the standard layout, and that's fine. Okay? And what's the field that controls it? Account type. Okay? Choose a condition. Well, is competitor and I say next this so it already built it for me which is really really easy and I say if it's a competitor what I'm going to do is I'm going to show fields and I'm going to add certain things in now in this case what we're going to do is I want to hide things right so here you would actually we can change it and I'm going to edit this condition, right? Which I can do here, like account type is competitor, and I can do that. I could also do this and edit this and make it that it's not competitor, right? So if it's not competitor, I'm going to show these different pieces industry, um, ownership, you know, all these different pieces. These are all the fields. So you could make it very complex if you wanted to what we're going to hide. If we go here, we're going to say is, and I'm going to say show a field, and I'm going to say I want to show industry, and I want to show ownership, and I want to show, and we'll do that for right now. Okay, I'm going to save that, All right? Trigger an action, again, show sections, again, we can do different things, all right? And then we save that up, okay? And then that's active. So now, if I go back to my account record, and I go to Bill's Boats, and I'm not seeing industry right now, for instance, if I say account type is competitor, and save it, now you notice I just whopped in, and then there's industry, and there's ownership showed in right there, and if I get rid of it, then it goes away, right? And it goes away. So that's what that's what you're looking at for these different pieces. Uh, certain systems that we know of, they call it um, they'll they'll call it like a business rule or business process. I know Microsoft Dynamics calls them business processes. Um, Zoho calls them layout rules. Let's go back and review again what our other layout rule was, because we had other ones in there where they're more hiding. And I want to kind of use those. So if I go to the deal layout, layout rules, and it was the number of tenants. Okay. So it looked here, it said set mandatory fields. Okay, so that's the other thing too that we can do. That's the action. So it's show fields, this and that, right? We can also do sections, show sections. Okay. So you almost have to work in a negative atmosphere which is kind of a hard thing to get your brain wrapped around so if let's say we wanted to hide a section for everybody that's not a competitor well then what you would do is with the competitor you would show the section you're doing it opposite right so if it's a competitor and we wanted to show a section like let's let's go in here let's create one we're gonna go back we're gonna go out back to uh, accounts in my layout right and we're going to do the standard layout we're going to do a new section okay that's called um, let's just go into here and we're going to call this competitor data okay 
and I'm going to drag in a single line, or let's do a multi-line, and say products, um, products that we compete with, something like that, right? And then we have that, and it's, it's all good. So if I save and close that, and now we just adjusted that, and then it's got accounts, and here's our account, and there's our layout, you can see that this is here. Okay, there's my competitor data. What I want to do is I want to go back to my setup and I want to change that around. And I'm going to do accounts, my layout rules, and by account type, we're going to take this. We're going to actually change this. We're going to get rid of this and trash this part. Let's be one trigger, so we're going to do another trigger. And we're going to say show a section. All right, and that's going to be competitor data right if it's that and then we're going to get rid of the other one get rid of the show fields and we're just going to say competitor data is what we're going to show if it is a competitor okay now what I want to make sure is is it going to hide it for everything else right and that's kind of where it gets a little wonky okay so we're going to do this we're going to save this got it uh, let's just cancel that out and we're going to save it and this should be good let's just make sure it did save and it should have yeah, it's going to show that section. So go to my accounts. I look at Bill's boats. Is it showing? I do not have it there, right? But the minute I say, okay, I want to be a competitor, now it will competitor to data, and there it is. Okay? So we have that information. Uh, we can use that now, and then we can even edit the layout further to make it required if we want to and, and make those mandatory fields. It's more of another trigger if we wanted to. Okay, so again, think about layout rules based on criteria that we hide or we show certain fields, you make things mandatory. Um, you can do it by user, you can do it by role, you can do it by field update, depends on the criteria. Okay, um, for different layouts, we can actually change layouts that this role sees this layout while this group sees this layout. So that's the other way that you can modify without having it more dynamic. Okay. Um, again, layout rules by user. Field data is the most popular. User and role, you may just want to use standard layout versus other la or additional layout pages. Okay, um, but think about it as hiding or making your fields required. That's what it. That's what the hiding sections, requiring fields, hiding fields, showing fields. That's what you want to do when it comes to your layout rules. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, again, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got a lot out of it. Uh, check out our video library for other tips and all things training for Zoho. Any suggestions for other classes, any questions you might have on this or Zoho itself, email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Uh, I hope to see you at the next one, and uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for joining and watching.